Hello there everybody, Steve Parker here from Palmore Gunstocks. Um, I've now got to a point in my life, fastly approaching 70 years of age, that it is time now that I hung, hung the gunstock manufacturing boots up and went on and did something else with what, you know, what time I have left in life. So, what I have for sale on, on a, the BPI auction site are the <coughs> contents of the workshop except for the manual duplicating machine templates and various other things which I'm going to sell as a separate entity. So I'm going to take you around the CNC machines. One of the machines with the four heads on has never been run. Uh, unfortunately, I've never managed to get it set up and, and running and operating and manufacturing gun stocks. Um, so it's just one of those things and age is against me now, so I really feel as though, if I'd have got it going uh, the back end of last year, then I would have been turn, churning stocks out like like a good one, uh, knocking them out at very, very reasonable prices, prices that you couldn't buy anywhere else in the bloody world, I can assure you from me, uh, because I'm not a greedy person, and all I want is a decent crack out of job, and that does for me. I don't have visions of grandeur of being a multi-billionaire after making stocks, nobody else would be but I've got a good clientele both here and across the Europe uh, into into North America so that's all come from a website that's got a hundred and five thousand hits on it so yes I don't think I've done too bad I still get inquiries even today uh, a lot of the inquiries I'm getting now I'm having to turn down because for the simple reason I just don't have time to do them um, so maybe uh, somebody may come along and, and want to buy these CNC machines and take off where I, I come from. But don't forget, these are three, the, 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 the flatbed uh, CNC machine with the rotary on it is, they are 3D carving machines. So, and the other for it is a 3D carving machine with a diameter of 300 on it, you know, 300 millimeter diameter you can actually get on these machines. So they're quite big. Um, the length on the uh, actual forehead machine, is, as you can count between the centres, is 1200mm, which I didn't buy the 8-foot eight, eight version of it, I just wanted 1200 because of the gun stocks. But imagine that, you know, you could carve fluted columns, pillars and everything else that you, you could ever care to think about on these machines. You know, you know make yourself under no underestimate what you can do with these CNC machines they're absolutely phenomenal it's just a pity that I've you know I've had enough um, you know I've worked long enough I've worked hard all my life so I just want some time away for it to go and do various other things so um, the CNC machines and most of the equipment well, 71 lots are for sale on the www.b PI auctions, the auction, PPI auctions, which is all one word, dot com. Go and visit the website and have a look. You, you know, there's things on there that you might think, oh, I could do with that. Uh, you know, all I'm asking for is a decent price. I don't prepare to give them away, but I will sell them at a reasonable sort of rate so I get something in return from it. You know, I've put a lot of money into this place over my lifetime, so I'm not prepared to give it away to you. But if you, if you come across and start talking sense over, the CNC machines, I mean, I've got some bloody idiots on there thinking they can get it for a couple of grand. Well, unfortunately, it's not going to happen. You know, if you go and try and buy one of these machines, uh, especially this flatbed with a rotary, and you're talking about 15, 16,000 pounds for one, and the forehead rotary, I mean, I've inquired about one from from a company in the UK, and they wanted 15,000 pounds plus back for, the, for that machine. This is a brand new one that's never been used, it's in this country, it's available to you straight away. Um, so yeah, I mean, I imported the machines in from China, so I had all the cost of shipping them in and all the rest of it. So, you know, it's, they've not been cheap. They, yeah, I've saved quite a bit of money on, compared with buying it from some a, a dealer in, in the UK, but what do you get from them? They buy, them? they buy the machines from the same company. So if you buy them and I get a right price for them, you've got them at a bargain price anyhow. So. I don't know what they're talking about. So these are all Mac 3 operated. Uh, I had this one connected up. I've used the flatbed for quite some time and you know done all sorts of projects on it. But as you see from the marks and the bed ones I start to show you. But yeah, it is a good machine. It works well. I mean, on the on, it comes with a water cooler for the for the spindle motor. 
the other one on the forehead that has a chiller on it because obviously you're running four motors at once and you need some you know extreme cooling for it to keep the motors cool so yeah the forehead has never been used apart from i have a video of it test video when it was when it was being built when it was built in china for me so and i still have that so if you wanted to look at that's not a problem so yeah so from now on i'll, I'll just give you a quick walk, walk around these um cnc machines and other things that's available on this website don't forget it is www.bpiauctions.com go and have a look right thank you so here we are um there's a the flatbed machine with its rotary on it um moving across now to the actual forehead rotary machine don't know if you can see that the yards of forehead rotary yeah it's a beast of this thing it's just a shame i never got it going because it would have made a fantastic amount of gun stocks on this thing each every day but yeah that's it and then we go around now i have the got the uh, dust extractors i'll just pull back on that a bit there's a dust extractor the three phase there's another dust extractor over there that's three phase a, a plane of thickser, thicknesser shepack really good really good so here we are there's a shepack's plane of thickness a 10 inch wide that's one of the things there you are, a belt sander there, belt sanding machine and lineage, which I use for obviously doing sanding jobs and things like that. And then moving over, we have these panel clamps, which uh, I do glue a lot of panels together with them. Uh, they're ideal for laminating panels up ready for being cut up on the bandsaw for making stock blanks from. And then moving over. I have the old bandsaw. Um, it's a three-phase bandsaw. Um, quite a good machine. You know, I've had it for years. There's quite a few uh, bandsaw blades that are available that I'll throw in with the machine. And then at the back, there's a pillar drill there, as you can see there. And then there at the back there, there's my air compressor. So yeah, overall, quite a setup. Then we're moving into the next place. So here we go again. Um, we've got the we've got the old milling machine which is a major mill, uh, it's got a stand with it. Uh, that's Ted's basket, so he, he's retired now, he don't want to come up here anymore. And there you are, there's a DRO, everything's working. Um, if you fancy uh, a bit of 3D printing, well there you go. There you go. There's a couple of CR10S Pros, Crealities. Um, you know printers big big beds on them 300 by 300 well so you can print quite big quite big prints from them and then in general some of the stuff i have left from when i were a plaster and drywaller as the uh stilts and god knows what they're there on the website and then i have this which i want to show you if i can get it right here we are that there is um it's called a wood rat, a complete kit there with a DeWalt router with it, so like a EL20, EL, what is it, router with it. It's brand new, I have never ever used this thing. I bought it in the intention of making a lot of things, but on this machine, the cutters are with it. There's, uh, you know, you can dovetail, mortise and tenon and all the rest. It has a mortising rail in it, so if you just wanted to make some cabinets and things like that, well, you have this ability to make mortises on it, so it's quite a good machine. It's brand new, it's never been used, so it's there you are.